Welcome to another video talking about HTML. Today we're going to learn how to put images onto our websites. So, the well, first thing we got to do is we got to go find a picture that we want. Images. If you go to Tools and then Size and then do Large, that'll usually give you a little bit more uh, better quality uh, pictures. So, let's go with that one. Then you right click. Save image as to your computer, wherever you want to put it. And I just will go ahead and name it right here. Tap. Uh, yes. And then I go back to my uh, rep bowl. And then I'm going to click on these three little dots right here. Upload file. We're uploading that picture file. Pictures. To find it quickly, just type it in. Cap.jpg. Open. So it's taking it from my computer and uploading it to my REPL website. So now I can see it right here. And now all I got to do is put in the HTML to put the image onto the website. Left arrow IMG for image. And then what's the source? Equal quotation marks. And you got to type in the name of the picture exactly the way that you see it over here. Okay. An image tag is actually one of the ones that breaks the rules. There's no real closing tag. That's all you need. If I hit run, you can now over here see I have a picture of Captain America. Um, to change the size of it, uh, type in W3Schools images. And then on this website, I'll probably have this linked in the assignment as well. You'll see right here. Um, you can add this width and height attribute to your code. I'm totally fine if you copy and paste that. It's a lot of typing. And now that'll kind of control how big your pictures. If I change this to 50 by 60, a lot smaller, maybe too small, probably 150. Usually a good one to start with is like 300 by 300. There you go. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we're going to do it one more time. Go find another picture. Uh, Superman. Great. Right click. Save image as. Uh, super. You want to keep you want to keep the picture the uh, name of the picture small, so you cannot so you don't have to type in a bunch of code later. Super. It's spelled super correctly. It's all right. Open. Got it up there. Uh, if you ever want to rename the name of the picture, you can rename. So if it's like super long, you can just, I mean, you can just name it one. It doesn't really matter what you name it. Um, that's just what it has to look like um, in the. Um, and then I'll already co I'll copy and paste this. And then instead of cap, if I run cap again, it'll just put that same picture twice. But we want cap twice. We want to put in uh, when I name it. I look over here; it has to be exactly the same. No cap, capitalize everything. Spaces. It's got to be exactly the same. Uh, not, oh, look at that! It's not PNG. It's not JPEG. It's PNG. So they got to change the file type. PNG and JPEG are just different file picture file types. There we go. Okay, and that's it. Um, that's how you put in images into your website. You find the picture, upload it into your. Uh, REPL, and then you write in the code that's right here, and now you have pictures on your website.